One of the signs of a growing church is the need for additional space. And that's where we are at Southern Heights. Uh, we've seen a lot of children and a lot of youth come through our building in the last year, and we're needing some more room. Uh, as you know, we are uh, gathering funds for a, a brand new building or a brand new addition, um, but we have some needs that, that need to be taken care of right now. And part of that is uh, renovating our children's ministry spaces. Um, the only way we can actually add space is if uh, the student ministry uh, gets a new space in the fellowship hall. And uh, so part of the project of our $61,000 is renovating some of the Sunday school classes uh, to make them designated children's ministry spaces, uh, along with adding some additional uh, playground equipment outside and some in an indoor play space for the uh, preschool classrooms. So as John mentioned, we are trying to renovate the uh, fellowship hall space to give the youth a better space to belong and a better place to engage with one another. A part of that renovation space will be taking out the back wall of the uh, fellowship hall where the old uh, baptistry was and the old uh, offices were and where the storage is now would take out that wall and transform that into a stage for the youth band. And then additionally, we'll add a, another wall uh, closer to the kitchen side to, to add a door um, that the students can enter in through in a place that we can block off the rest of the fellowship hall to the, the youth space as well. Um, and then inside, there'll just be a couple uh, a couple things for the kids to connect with, uh, a couple tables to sit at, um, and chairs to, to be able to listen to the lessons and listen to the music and, and worship together. Um, and then a part of that is opening up space, like John said, for the children's ring. And so the chapel will then be turned into a kid's space. The bridge will also turn into a kid's space. And then it'll, tr it'll trickle down to getting more space for the kids as well. And so all this is not just youth, it's not just for kids, it's for all of us. Um, like I mentioned on Sunday, if you build it, they will come and that is our hope and that is our prayer that if we keep expanding, keep building um, spaces for the youth and children, that they will come. And in turn, they will bring their families and we can give a better place for each and every person to experience the love and unconditional love of Jesus here at Southern Heights. And just to be aware, uh, we, we hope and plan to have this goal reach the $61,000 goal funded by January 1st. I know that seems like it's just in a couple weeks, uh, but we know that God can work wonders in just a short amount of time. And so we hope to have everything turned in by January 1st. If you would like to donate, you can donate in the drop at the designated uh, re remodel uh, donation box, or you can put it in a normal offering box or online. Just make sure you note it, remodel. Thanks.